guys, as the title indicates, we're going to go over how to clean your AK pattern rifle. Um, we get a lot of new shooters here in the channel that don't really know how to do it, what's needed, what's not needed. We're going to do a basic uh, like post-range trip cleaning of the AK rifle. It's not going to be in-depth white glove cleaning. It's not what we're doing. It's not how I do it. Um, but it's just going to answer those questions that a lot of new shooters have. And then we're going to go over the how to lubricate it as well. So we're going to go over what we need first. We have some CLP here and different types of bottles. This is a uh, spray and then this is for more uh, precise applications of where you're going to put it. I use an old shotgun um, bore brush for the gas tube. And then we have a uh, Otis um, little wire to clean out the uh, barrel. That said, you can absolutely use your cleaning rod. That's completely fine. Um, I have just like a little plastic toothpick thing here to scrape inside and a toothbrush. First thing you're going to do whenever you're cleaning any kind of rifle or working on any kind of rifle is verify that it's empty. So go ahead and release your magazine, safety down, charge the rifle, inspect the chamber. You want to actually look in there and verify there's no rounds. Release that. We're going to push the, this little button back here, release your top cover, set that off to the side, take your spring out, leave that up here, remove your bolt and bolt carrier, pull that back. And as you can see, we got a little carbon on there that's what we're going to work on. First thing I like to do is just put a patch full of uh, CLP or coated with CLP down the barrel. Um, you absolutely can use bore cleaner if you want to and solvents, things like that. No doubt about it, you can. But um, a lot of you guys are out there have arsenal rifles or things like that that have painted on finishes. So generally, I would say you want to stay away from any kind of harsh cleaters on AKs. Um, that said, if you want to use it, go ahead. Um, they work, but. A lot of these rifles have been used for a long time with very, very minimal cleaning over the years and uh, they're doing just fine. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to spray around inside the receiver with some CLP. Um, just spray in there, make sure you get in the bore real good, and we're going to let that sit for a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our bolt from the bolt carrier. And I go ahead and spray that down with a little bit of CLP, don't need a lot and spray down just the bolt carrier with some CLP as well as on the rod. Some people will tell you, on the piston I should say, some people will tell you you don't need it and that's fine. I agree with that. We're going to use it just to start breaking down that carbon. Now that we've got that CLP in there, we're going to go ahead and just brush around inside the receiver trying to loosen up any kind of carbon deposits you have. Um, pay attention to around the bore in the chamber. That's uh, where we're going to have some carbon buildup obviously from firing of the rifle. And. Uh, I go ahead and pull the trigger. Obviously, you want to make sure you're not letting the trigger slam into the receiver. And then brush in all the trigger components as well. Onto the bolt. I'm just going to go ahead and brush around the bolt from that CLP, spread it around, let it do its job, and start breaking down that carbon. I'm going to say it 15 times, but if you guys use any sort of solvent, have nothing wrong with that. I just don't think it's necessary. Next up, I'm going to take our piston here, brush that down, just like that. And we're also going to brush in the area where the bolt rides, getting that carbon loose. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piston and wipe it down with just a napkin or rag or whatever you got. Because the reason is, generally speaking, you don't want to have a bunch of CLP in there because it just attracts more um, more carbon, more carbon buildup when you're firing and you don't need it. That part doesn't need to be lubricated. And just wipe down the surfaces there that have that CLP on it. In the receiver we're going to do the same thing. Try to get all that excess CLP off, wipe it down, try to get any kind of residue, just big chunks of oil, things like that. Try to get that off again, you pull the trigger, let it go forward, don't let it slam, use your finger, and uh, just wipe up anything you see and you can get your hands on. Try to take the bolt, do the same thing, wipe it down. Get all the excess CLP off of there, set that off to the side. Now, some people say you never need to clean a spring, that might be. Um, all I do is I just wipe it down, any kind of carbon buildup that's on there, wipe it off, but it doesn't need to be sparkling clean. 
So I just sprayed some CLP there in the top cover. We're just gonna wipe that out as well. Just to get any kind of carbon that's off there. That part's generally not too dirty, but that's what we do there. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, what do you do with the gas tube? Me, personally, I generally don't remove the gas tube. Every time I clean it, I, I do every maybe 1,000 rounds, something like that, along those lines. But just when I just get home from the range, there's really no need to. All I do is go ahead and take this uh, old 12 gauge brush, put a uh, patch on there. And we're just gonna run it down in there a couple times and uh, get any kind of carbon out of there you get. I don't really worry about getting all of it, like I said, because I do, I do every so often, like I said, probably around 1,000, 1,500 rounds, take it off and uh, really get in there. But you don't want any lubrication in there, so you just want that patch to be dry. Run that in a few times until you're happy with how it comes out, and that's really all you need to do for the gas tube. On to the more detailed cleaning, if you will. In the bolt carrier here, the spots you want to focus on with your little pick is just work in the metal there. Go through where the bolt carrier rides in the middle, get all that carbon off, and then any place in the rails. So, again, we all know AKs can run with very minimal, if not no damn cleaning. These things are virtually indestructible, but if you want your gun to last a long time and run per run well, I mean, I like to take care of the things I, I use. So we get in the rails there. Anywhere the bolt's gonna have a contact point because it's rotating in there as you're firing. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, wipe down this one more time to make sure we get all the CLP off there we can, because again, you don't want this thing coated with any kind of cleaner. A lot of guys do use um, carb cleaner on their, on their pistons. That's fine, I, I know of no damage that would do to that part. So if you do that, rock on, keep doing it. Moving on to the bolt, you're just gonna wipe it down with one of your patches or a rag or whatever you're using. Make sure you get inside anywhere that these things ride on rails, because again, those are the points that if they do get excessively dirty, they will uh, they will have problems. I go ahead and put this over the over where the bolt uh, hooks into the round, and I uh, just go ahead and wipe around in there. You can see a lot of times there's a lot of carbon buildup. If you guys use Golden Tiger ammo or some of the lacquer cased or coated cased uh, ammo, it will build up in there as well. So you just want to make sure you get in there wipe that down, get all that carbon off. Moving on to the receiver, guys. What we do in there, I do the exact same thing. I just take this little toothpick thing again, and we just go in and get a little bit more detailed than what we were doing with our finger and the uh, and the napkin earlier. So just go ahead and work it around in there. Any area you can get it in, that's what these little plastic uh, dental pick type things are good for. If you guys are using dental picks, that's great. Um, nothing wrong with that. Just make sure it's not a hard dental pick because a lot of those will scratch finishes and cause some problems. Again, will it really cause problems? No, your AK will run just fine. But um, again, you just want to take care of the things that you own. Wassers used to be 200, 300 bucks, but those days are all gone. And we know that these things are going for 500 bucks now. And some of your more expensive AKs, like that arsenal you saw at the beginning of the video, shoot, these days are going for around $1,000. So while they will run forever with minimal cleaning, I, I like to take care of the things I own. So all we're gonna do is just keep wiping around. And you're gonna do that just until uh, until the patch comes out as clean as you want it. That's personal preference there. You guys are a little bit more of a stickler for your clean weapon. It's probably gonna take you a little bit longer. I go in there until I just don't really see any carbon and it's coming up generally clean. So you saw in the beginning of the video there, we ran a uh, patch down the barrel, loaded with some CLP. If you guys are using more cleaner again, that's fine. But what that's doing while you're cleaning the rest of the rifle is it's breaking down the, those carbon deposits that are in the bore and they're uh, built up in the, in the rifling. So if, at the end, the last thing I do is run some patches down there. And basically you can see there, that one's pretty clean because we ran it through a few times. But um, just keep running that through until it comes out as clean as you want it. And uh, that's it for the cleaning of your AK. For lubrication, I use a uh, clean patch with some CLP, and I run that through the bore, and I'm just gonna leave it there like that to prevent any sort of corrosion while it's stored. And I leave that off to the side. And for the rest of the lubrication here, take a, uh, a smaller bottle here, 
that we have with some CLP. A lot of guys use motor oil too. That's fine. I've used it. It works. Um, I'm not going to get into a lubricant discussion here because that's a whole other uh, review or a whole other video. But what I do here is I put a little bit of uh, CLP around where the uh, bolt rides in the bolt carrier. I go ahead, insert that. One of the benefits of using a CLP based cleaner versus a, uh, <coughs> a, like a, a solvent, a bore cleaner or something like that, is that I'm not really going to lubricate the uh, bolt carrier but there's already some lubricant on there because I was using CLP. Um, next spot I'm gonna, I'm gonna lubricate is right here on the rails, on the bolt carrier where it rides on the rails. And the last place I use lubrication on my AKs is on the rails here on the inside. I realize it's the same spot, but it just helps spit it around. And that's it, that's all the lubrication I use on my AKs. A lot of guys out there use grease as well. If you use grease, that's awesome, and grease works well. I just, uh, I run with oil. But I'm just gonna put it on there, put it together. And uh, we're going to do a test function here in the set. <clears throat> so once you got your AK put back together, cycle the action a few times. Do a, a functions check. And that's it. Your AK is uh, clean and lubricated. So that's it for your AK cleaning, guys. As always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Post in the comments section. I'm sure other guys will chime in with their opinions, and they're welcome. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video, guys.